Welcome back to Appifier Business. So how do you do quick scans within an AppSheet app? And what are quick scans? Let me just show you a quick demonstration of what you can make with AppSheet. All right, so to get started, we're gonna use the new AppSheet databases feature. I know I haven't gone into too many details or any details for that matter on this new feature, but this is basically a built-in table uh, with AppSheet. This is just a little bit easier uh, instead of having a separate spreadsheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new database. And in this, uh, table i'm going to basically remove some extra tables here and um, we only need a couple tables here there's some benefits to using appsheet databases in that appsheet databases has a built-in key already so unlike spreadsheets there is already a key that is uniquely identifiable for each record so you don't need to create a key column uh, with any AppSheet databases you make. So for the purposes of creating this quick scan application, we need to just be able to have scan text. So whatever value is being scanned from the app. And then the other value we're going to add is, and this is purely just for having additional context in the application is a date and time of the scan. And then obviously you would add any additional values, uh, any columns, any fields you'd want as well uh, that would be relevant to your situation. I'm gonna also remove all these extra records here because they're empty in general. So we're gonna call this app quick scan or this database quick scan. And then we're gonna click apps over here on the right side of the screen and click new app sheet app and it's going to generate a quick app from my new app sheet database so after a quick moment i'm in the app editor i'm going to rename this quick scan and under data because that's the first place we always need to go when we're making an app sheet app we'll go to columns here well first we'll go to tables and then we'll make sure that we actually um, have the updates that we're allowed to do. So in this case, only updates are allowed. We also want to add ads as well. And once we have ads set, we can then go to columns here. And those types are set appropriately. And we could see that we have the built-in row ID that's um, built in because of AppSheet databases where AppSheet's generating a unique identifier for each record. Um, just based on the built-in nature of the AppSheet database. So what we also need to do here is also make sure we annotate the required fields. And in both fields that we've added to this app, we want both of them to be required. We see that AppSheet's automatically gonna populate the date and time, and then we're gonna require this single value here. So now let's go ahead and create the quick scan functionality of the application. We'll just go ahead and use the primary view here and we'll rename this scan. And for this data, we're, you know, we only have one table in here. We're gonna change this to the form, a form view. And under these two features here called auto save and auto reopen, we want to enable those. Auto save allows us to basically save the form automatically when the fields are saved. Um, so once all the fields are populated, the form will just shut close and save the values to the data source. Then auto reopen means that the form will reopen and perform the next task. So next we're gonna check out column order. And all we, we need to have here is to have that scan text column there because that's the value we're gonna scan. The other value is gonna be automatically added onto the app. So after we set up this form, uh, the last thing we need to do is go to options under UX and scroll down to the forms view here. 
In this situation, we're going to check the option on to advanced forms automatically. Advanced forms automatically means that whenever a single field is being populated or filled in, it goes to the next field. And in this case, we have one field. Once that field is populated, we're going to the next section or the next value, which is to automatically save the form. Then under scan text, what we need to do is go under other properties and make sure we turn scannable and we check that box for scannable to be on. So now we're going to get the effect when you click the scan view, going to create this repeating view that can quickly scan a value and then reopen the scan form automatically. We're going to hop over to a mobile device to demonstrate this. So with that, thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe if this video is valuable to you. Thanks for watching and have a good one.